So you are selling this property in La Manga in Spain for 495,000 euros. You've had it on the market for six months. No one's been anywhere near it. But yesterday, this couple came to see you and they look really keen. Here I am at the SEMA conference with 150 delegates. We're running the negotiation case study with a buyer and a seller and they're practicing all the things that I've taught them. Now, what they don't know is that I've told you your best position is to sell it for the asking price, but your walk away position is 400. You just want to get shot at this place, all right? I'm just going to brief them and we're going to go in and negotiate. <laughs> Can you just gather around a sec? I want to tell you something that I don't want them to know, all right? Is that okay? Well, you've all got the buying brief. Yeah. So you've seen this property yesterday and you really like it. This is the red hot property you've been looking for in Spain. You don't know how long they've had it on the market. A fantastic question would be to ask them how long you've got it, had it on the market. I think they might lie, all right, when you do that. And they've just arrived in the car park, so uh, you need to get set up. So you'll need two chairs for you, two so chairs for them. Demonstrates immediately how they can use these techniques back in their business. A couple over there, a couple over there, look. Good guy, bad guy, higher authority, flinching at the negotiations, uh, using the body language, uh, negotiating in teams, taking a break, taking a time out. You, Mr. We are, uh, we're all yeah. Four women negotiating always, <laughs> always worries the pants off of me. How's it going? You've got to handle this. This is. Can you just stop a minute? Can you just stop a minute? Just stop a minute. I know you're having. A, I know you're having fun, and you're not supposed to be having fun here. This is a serious uh, accountants conference. Um, can you mirror each other's body language just for a little while? Yeah, just make sure you are. Oh <laughs> yeah, very good. Have you got two minutes? Yeah, yeah, we've got another 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> Cheaper, half the price. Just to stop the joining, there's a bit of time. How many people got a deal? Yeah. How many people didn't get a deal? Stand up if you didn't get a deal. Right, boo them, boo. boo, boo. <laughs> okay, sit down. It's okay because it's good to good to walk away sometimes and not do a deal. You need to control the time when you're negotiating. So, guys, what deals did we get? 470. 470 there. 480. 480. 400 with with the is that with the Porsche 911? 482. 482. Whoa! <laughs> so what's what's were the differentials that mean meant people could get four eight two or three nine five? The gentleman there said he lied a bit. Can you believe it? A, a SEMA member is him. Get, Adrian, get him on video. <laughs> The best deals we've ever had on this, ladies and gentlemen, is somebody got 575 for it at one stage. And of course you know how that happened, don't you? There was a phone call, a coincidental phone call in the middle of the meeting which went something like this, oh yes, um, yes madam, yeah well you like the house, yeah well I've got some people with me at the moment and uh, I think they're going to offer the asking price but if they don't I'll get back to you immediately. Oh. 550. Oh, would you? Oh, that's really interesting, yeah. Well, um, I'll see if they're interested in uh, matching your offer or more, and if they are, I'll get, you know, I'll let you know. Oh, someone's just offered me 550, so if you really want it, you know, you'll have to offer me a bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, um, have fantastic negotiations. This is a bottom line business skill, which most people, most of the time, aren't very good at. It's something that's easy to do, but you do have to step outside your comfort zone sometimes. Sometimes you have to fold your arms the other way. Come on, fold your arms the other way now. Probably got to fold it the first way and then fold it the other way. So you do have to do things differently. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And the final thing is, the final piece of advice I want to give you is uh, you become who you spend the most time with. So if you stick around smart people, you get smart things.